Brittany here, and today we're at the Tektronics Video Insights Seminar in Burlington, Mass. We're gonna go inside and talk to Carl Kuhn, who is the senior video application engineer about the WFM 5250. What we're gonna talk about today is the WFM 5250. The Tektronics WFM 5250 is a tool that can be used in multiple environments in video production. It can be done production, post-production, as in edit suites, anytime you're actually going in and adjusting, sweetening the content, this would be the proper tool. Also in a uh, master control situation where you need to see your quality of your audio and video. It's a tool that's used by creative people, technical people, and also engineering people. The gamut display is actually what we call a diamond display. Black in the middle, gray through white, black in the middle, gray through white, color off to the side. As long as you're inside the diamond, you're okay. So as far as the product is concerned, for the creative aspects, to make sure you're not breaking any interoperability rules with color, this would be a screen that I would recommend using. On the waveform, another way of visualizing your color space, here it's zero to 700 millivolts, plus and minus 350, plus and minus 350. Within the picture mode, you can see what's happening with the picture. You can set safe areas for your action and your title. Also, you can have any violations in the picture, you can see a picture bright up. So anything that would be too black, too white, too yellow, or too saturated in general would appear as a bright up display. You'd see a checkerboard type of a pattern on top of the picture element that is out of spec. On the audio display, we're looking at the audio display now. We're bringing in embedded audio in this situation here. Channel one and channel two, you can see the level. I'm also bringing in Dolby, so it determines that you are bringing in Dolby on channel three and four. Also channel five and six, we have another mix of the same audio. This part of the screen here shows the phase. You can actually see the phase representation between your multiple channels. In summary, the WFM 5250, it has two SDI inputs, two HDMI inputs with HDCP encryption. So that allows you to have a lot of flexibility in your video sources. Also a lot of flexibility in your troubleshooting. The fact that small form factor, as you see here, it has a handle on it, so it can be portable. When it's portable, you can put a battery on the back of it, so that way you can take it out into the field. It's also rack mountable, and usually works well in an operational environment, an edit suite, or master control.